The United States of America is vast, ranking as the third or fourth largest country based on various criteria. Due to its considerable size, one might expect numerous towns and cities with unique and distinct names. Surprisingly, this is not always the case. Throughout the US, numerous places share common names, and certain states even have multiple occurrences of the same name. So what are the most common place names? Naturally, one might take an educated guess about the most prevalent place name, and that would be Washington, named in honor of George Washington, the founding father and first president of the United States. Throughout the US, there are 91 locations bearing the name Washington, and 31 out of the 50 states have a Washington County. This is in addition to the state of Washington and Washington DC, the capital city of the United States. Following Washington, we have 45 places named Franklin, undoubtedly named after Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers and a key drafter and signer of the Declaration of Independence. Then there are 39 places named Clinton, not after that Clinton, but in honor of DeWitt Clinton, a pivotal figure in the construction of the Erie Canal. 38 places share the names Arlington and Centerville, Arlington deriving its name from Arlington County Virginia, while Centerville is fairly self-explanatory. There are 35 places each named Lebanon in Georgetown. The name Lebanon has a biblical inspiration, likely influenced by the Bible and cedar trees, while Georgetown pays homage to the British kings, bearing the regal name George, who ruled from 1714 until the American independence in 1776. Then finally, we have Springfield, who many Americans falsely believe to be the most popular place name, and a name found in every state. But what is Springfield, and why does the US have so many Springfields? As is obvious, Springfield is a famously common place name in the English-speaking world, especially in the United States, where 35 places are named Springfield and are present in these US states and territories. As to why Springfield is so widespread, well, it stems from the tradition, common in various places globally, where people used to name new settlements after more prominent ones. This is notably observable in New England, where numerous cities are named after cities in England. This holds true for Springfield. In historical terms, the first American locality bearing the name Springfield was Springfield, Massachusetts established in 1636 by William Pynchon, an early American colonist. Pynchon named the settlement Springfield after his hometown in England, Springfield, Essex. The spreading of Springfields can be attributed to the national significance gained by Springfield, Massachusetts in 1777, where George Washington established the United States National Armory. In the later part of the 19th century, Springfield emerged as a major hub of the Industrial Revolution, gaining even more significant prominence. As a consequence, other cities adopted its industrious name. Noteworthy examples include Springfield, the capital city of the US state of Illinois, and Springfield, Missouri, the third most popular city in the US state of Missouri. As of the 2020 US Census, Springfield, Missouri, and Springfield, Massachusetts are the most popular cities worldwide bearing the name Springfield, with respective populations of the numbers on your screen. On the other hand, Springfield, Illinois, notable for being the former residence of Abraham Lincoln, holds the distinction of being the only US state capital with the name Springfield. Field. But even these Springfields pale in comparison to the most famous Springfield of all, the Springfield found in the American animated sitcom The Simpsons. Springfield serves as the primary fictional backdrop for The Simpsons, and is portrayed as an average sized fictional city located within an unspecified US state. Despite the prevalence of real places named Springfield across the United States, the fictional city of Springfield was designed to embody the concept of any town USA, devoid of direct ties to any specific real life location. Nevertheless, the producers of The Simpsons openly acknowledged drawing inspiration from various locations, including the hometown of The Simpsons creator Matt Groening in Portland, Oregon, and the hometown of producer Mike Scully being none other than Springfield, Massachusetts. However, Springfield in The Simpsons was named after Springfield, Oregon, a place that, during his childhood, Matt Groening mistakenly believed to be the fictional Springfield featured in the 1950s American sitcom Father Knows Best. Intriguingly, the precise location of the Springfield in Father Knows Best is never stated, but it is generally assumed to be situated in the American Midwest. Contrary to a 2012 interview with Groening in Smithsonian Magazine, where he seemingly indicated Oregon as the intended location, he clarified that his intention was not to place the fictional Springfield in Oregon. Instead, he adopted the name for the Simpsons setting with the hope that, quote, everyone will think it's their Springfield. This has been made Jack, and if you live in a Springfield, please leave a comment down below.